Hello everyone, welcome to my very first video in English. Um, <clears throat> let's see how it's gonna be. Uh, this is pretty much my very first, um, my very favorite from 2015. <clears throat> I'm not a booty guru, I'm not a makeup artist, I just do it for fun, so I hope you enjoy it. I will start um, with my hair product. Um, my conditioner is a 3 OC 3 minutes uh, miracle reconstructor. Um, it smells a bit, but it's really, really awesome. You actually, it actually makes your hair really smooth. Um, as I have some dandruff um, and a bit of scalp so I don't know how to say this. Anyway, this is the very. Um, this is the. Um, it's a bit expensive, but it's the best shampoo I ever found. Um, I can find it on Boots, Wilco, and I think Superdrug. Maybe Azda as well. But um, Boots, we also can have points of a card, so it's the best option. <laughs> it's buying the same, well, same price and have some, prints, uh, some points as well. I really recommend this. This smells a lot. But it's actually helping. It's the first. I'm 23, 22 years old, and it's the first shampoo I use to actually get some results on my hair. I also use this Schwarzkopf. I never know how to say this. Um, Schwarzkopf. This hair repair liquid silk express repair conditioner. This is really good for me to apply um, when I'm going to comb my brush. Um, because it's, I feel like it's a bit. My hair is not dry, but it's just like every time I comb it, loads of. Um, how do I to explain it to you? It's just like if my comb brush will be stuck, and this really helps me to smooth it, and again, will be conditioning my hair after uh, after I washing it. So yeah, it's really really nice. Also, for those days when we actually we are in a rush and we don't really have time to wash our hair and everything, um, I'm not saying <laughs> just like everyone wash your hair, obviously, but sometimes it don't really look, looks great because of our boilers at home and we actually, while we sleep, our hair will start being a bit oily. This completely dries our hair. It's just like dry shampoo. Everyone know. What, what, what this is probably <coughs> this smells like coconut is really nice and it really helped uh, help me to be ready in time without like being late because I need to shower all over again but I can do it again home again my skin um, skincare favorite products from 2015 was a no buy no bay I just know this is Spanish and I don't know how to pronounce pronounce this. Um, no buy, no buy, probably. I don't know. This is a face cleaner, calming face toner. I got it from Glossy Box, and it's really really nice. It's not. I honestly I prefer the three, three something. I don't know the name. The green thing you buy from Body Shop, um, and also I had it from um, Superdrug brand. Um, it let the other one usually get my face and my skin a bit more fresh um, but this also makes a really really good job uh, just not so crazy I don't know if these words exist <laughs> my lips I being I have been loving this delicious delicious uh, this is French French um, and the lip balm I got <laughs> This is so annoying. I got it from Glossy Box as well and it's really really nice. It smells like marshmallows. I know has, these have different colors uh, but mine is marshmallows fragrance and it's actually working really really well. I, I still didn't find my very much loved skin care for today but my favorite to use at night. I have the cream as well but I think this makes a better job it's just some kind of a, a gel a gel um, we just apply it, it makes it make us feel like really fresh and when it dries, the next day you feel like your skin is really really smooth so 
is from Superdrug brand, so it's about three pounds something now. <laughs> um, let's talk about my favorite makeup things um, <clears throat> from 2015. Um, I am a huge fan of um, cheap makeup because I believe that most of the times we don't really pay for the quality we usually pay for the brand I know we also pay what we get so I'm not expecting like a makeup academy that I really really like uh, a makeup academy product have the same quality as Chanel probably will have it or Dior or whatever thing is is no point for me to expend like loads of money like 26 or 30 pounds in a foundation they're like Kiko Milani or Revlon will do it for 12 or 15 pounds exactly the same quality I had an experience that I tried the new Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting I think foundation um, and I didn't like it on my skin and that was 25 pounds and I went to Kiko Milani tried to find the perfect shade for me because I always have the problem um, and I actually bought a foundation that was just 14 pounds because I was a neutral shade otherwise if I was kind of a rosy um, rose shade I would have it for 7 pounds something and it covers really really well pretty much the same coverage as the Beyond Perfecting from Clinique thing is was not that heavy and it looks more natural in my skin so it's no point to spend like double the price most of the times for just something you can actually get really really good quality and really more cheap cheaper the ones I have been using a lot in 2015 I changed a few things to 2016 because I started trying a few more expensive brands not completely expensive but a bit more expensive this is the matte perfecting loose translucent rose blue thing powder from Makeup Academy. Uh, it is about two pounds, three pounds, I think. It has been lasting a year already, and it's loads like, full packaging in here. Yet uh, I use this for baking my concealer on the eyes because every time I use this concealer, um, my eyes got a few lines on the bags and it's not really nice to see <laughs> so I found baking my under eyes uh, bugs will actually with conceal will actually help me a lot in that place this really helps um, it's really good to make our foundation matte as well and really really lasts really nice um, like a long time but I found this essence is about £3.99 I think um, I saw these on loads of um, I saw these reviews and most of the Portuguese um, girls are speaking about it and I tried, I thought about let's give it a go and this is actually works really well I just found that sometimes with my flush it actually reflects a bit just like my skin will be really white every time I take a photo the same doesn't happen with the Mua one okay about foundations the ones I used the most in 2015 um, and you can see I have loads of foundations I don't know why I keep buying them but I think it's because I'm always trying to find perfect holy grail foundation and I never can found it it's just like these two they are the same but different shades um, they are from Avon and they say ideal flawless full coverage I really don't think this is full coverage, it's probably medium to full or probably just medium um, but still, I have to close because I need to mix them together uh, otherwise I'll not have my shade I bought them two for the price of one because of some kind of promotion but it's just like, it's still a bit expensive it's almost the same price as the Kiko Milani one Kiko Milani is just like 14, that one I bought was 14 pounds and this is 12 pounds each so makes no sense uh, also I have been using a lot this foundation from W7 um, this is high definition camera ready foundation it's really nice okay so 
This is really nice. Um, it's more of like a light to medium coverage. It's really buildable as well. Um, thing is, this cost me about four pounds, three pounds something, four pounds. I really don't know why. It's just like double seven is so so expensive in Portugal. It's just like really comparable to naked palettes as well. I have them all from Double uh, Seven, not from Europe and UK. Thing is, they are so expensive in Portugal and probably in another country. Then why so cheap in UK? Like I bought, I have the full, almost all the palettes. Um, just missing like two or three or something. But each one was four pounds ninety nine, and in Portugal is about thirty euros or twenty five euros each one. It's about twenty pounds each one. So imagine the price of the foundations. I don't know why people in UK think this is not a good brand. Um, true is, this is really nice <laughs> and it's really really cheap. I really like when I go to Medaval and just like the extra um, extras shop. You can find like concealers, eyebrow kits, foundations, brush, full set of brush. Each brush is like two ninety nine, three ninety nine, four ninety nine. It's so cheap, then why in Portugal it's so expensive? I really don't get it. My favorite, I don't really... I need to try to learn how to do contour anyway, because I need it. Um, but my very... I don't know how to say it. This is when I like it the most. It's really nice. It's a bit... Ooh. It's a bit... Um, Rosa is from Milani. It's really really nice. His texture is just amazing. Um, I don't know how much this cost. I got this in a giveaway. But it's so nice the packaging. It's just like your bronzer, your mirror, and a brush. The brush is still not used anyway. But it's really really nice and it's just not orangey. At least in my opinion. My concealer from 2015 was the Lasting Perfecting Lasting Perfection from Collection 20 2000? Something like that. Uh, my color is warm beige. This is really really nice. Thing is, um I don't know why. It's just tends to be a bit more greasy under my eyes and I bought this because I saw like Zuella and loads of different bloggers speaking about it it's really really nice but I think there was I didn't like it that much because I when I started using it I didn't really bake it my under eyes so I don't know my okay, primer yeah that's the word my primer is from Mary, Mary Kay um, I have another one as well, but this is a texture is really similar than Perfection, Perfect, Perfection, the one from Benefits. You know which one I'm talking about. Uh, thing is, is when you apply on your skin, it's not so smooth as the other one from Benefits, but still makes a really really good job. I have this because I was selling Mary Kay and I tried, I decided to give it a go because it's about sixteen pounds. So, and I think it's really, it's almost the same price as Benefits ones, so probably Benefits will be better, I don't know, but this will do a really, really good job. The brand is all, um, Mercury brand is really, really good. It's not because I sold it, it's just like, I used to sell it, it's just like, it's mineral. The only thing I don't like about it, exactly like Avon, is they do test in animals. And I'm trying to avoid that, like, it's like one of my 2016 resolutions. So I'm just using what I have and I'm trying not to buy anything else from that while this lasts because I have a bunny, I really love my rabbit. It's just like, I do love animals. Why should I agree with those kind of procedures? Anyway. Um. The palette I used the most was the Makeup Academy, again, you will notice that I love Makeup Academy, it's just so cheap, it's 
basically same price as um, Makeup Revolution. Thing is, I do believe Makeup Academy is half more quality. Lipsticks are more creamy uh, and eyeshadows as well. And they are like, they have a huge pigmentation. I really like them. This was the most used because as my I have oily skin, I don't really like shimmery in my face. So I bought this as a full matte palette. Um because I don't I didn't want to have too much shimmer on my eyes as well. My blush is for makeup academy again. Um I really really love I have three of these, but candy floss is the most it's beautiful, it's just the best one ever. It just is like a really um, old rose, dry rose, I don't know how to tell you anyway. It's about like a pound this one, 250 creamy ones. Eyeshadow palettes is just like three pounds or four pounds each one. It's not that expensive, you have like 12, how many is it? 10 shades. 10 shades. I have almost every single palette as well because it's so cheap and it really really makes the job you want to and it's just not the ones like you need to go over and over again to try to get the color or the shade. Anyway, my two eyeliners, favorite eyeliners was this one from Avon, Super Shock Gel Eyeliner. This is a shade being tested in animals because this is super pigmented it lasts for hours when I bought it just like I put it on my hand and I just slept with this and next day I was still having loads of pigmentation in my hand and I tried to wash it up and still I could see it and it's so easy to apply it's not in a good condition anyway but it's so easy to apply because it's like a pencil so I, I bought it in promotion as well, it was just like three pounds, I think it cost seven or six pounds. It's really really nice. I have another one like a champagne colour. But again, it's tested in animals. Why? My coal, Kajal, coal, coal, I don't know how to say this anyway. Um is a coal pencil, it's from Berry M. Berry M doesn't test in animals. And I use this the most of times I use the eyeliner um, because it's kind of a gold brown shade and it's really nice, it looks like give you a bit of shimmer under your eyes but also um, it just looks really really natural it's not like imagine you have like a massive, gigantic, huge, brilliant, amazing, smoky eye like black or whatever and you want something like to dry your eyes and make them look bigger and really really natural this is amazing I can't remember how much it's cost I think it was for 99 but I have some amazing pigmentation for some reason my camera just stopped recording the last three projects I don't know why so carry on my favorite lip liner I don't use them most um, I bought this just to try. I have another one a bit more pinky. Um, this is like again a pink oh old pink shade, something like that. This is from Essence. Essence is a German brand. It's really really nice. It have like really really good prod products and a low price. Um this is like $2.99 I think. It's really really nice. Um again my one of my favorite brands to my lipsticks from 2015 was Max Factor um, Bewitching Coral. Uh, it's just a gorgeous shade. Um, I just got a bit disappointed when I saw Max Factor in the list of um, testing animals, stuff like that. But again, it's like $7.99 each lipstick, I think, um, while I can get a, a really good shade or amazing shade from Makeup Academy or Makeup Revolution for just a pound or Berry M for $4.99, uh, obviously this will last longer even after you eat. 
you have some shade on your lips which you will not happen with Makeup Academy um, but still you are paying like six or seven pounds more for just one lipstick my last product that my stupid camera didn't record it for some reason is cruelty free is I think this is um, like of a luxury brand from Superdrug is the B um, makeup brush cleanser cleanser yeah I think that's it you just need to spray over your brush um, and clean your brush in a towel or paper tissue that will completely cleanse the brush or even beauty blender blender whatever is on top of beauty blender or real techniques sponge um, thing is this will not clean deeply clean your brushes um, you'll need to clean it properly obviously but like imagine you need that brush to do your smoky eye or whatever and you have it with the black color or shade and you need a nude one to not mix it and not look dodgy um, if you spray this and clean it and wait like half a minute to a minute they will be dry and completely clean this is four ninety nine, five ninety nine, I think is a bit expensive this um, brand but still it's cruelty free and it's really really good I don't have anything else about from them but I'm really impressed with this and this was my very last product from 2015's um, favorites I want to apologize to everyone if I do any kind of mistake because as you will probably notice on some other videos I'm Portuguese um, I'm not a makeup academy I'm not a makeup artist I'm not a makeup guru I don't know anything about hair I'm just awful about it um, I just do this for fun and I'm trying to improve my confidence about speaking to other people or in front of the cameras because I'm studying events management with tourism so I will need to speak this not about makeup but about loads of stuff with people I don't know and people I never saw before and it's kind of hard for me to speak with those kind do those kind of things so I'm just training myself and doing something I like like I'll probably I don't know try to do makeup tutorials because again I'm not a makeup artist I just do this for fun I do enjoy this I have loads of makeup for some reason that I really don't know um, I'm just some kind of shopaholic probably um, but again um, I hope you like it and see you next video yeah <laughs> see you next video bye how do I say this? <laughs> bye well my